mixed up another fairly dark color in the way we spoke about and the way I demonstrated. And we're going to overlay some more red in a minute to bring more readiness to it. Readiness? I think that's a word now, isn't it? Just decided. I'm hinting at some of the the veins and stuff in the leaves here. But we can actually go back in with pencil later and there is and we will do some things on some of the leaves we'll do some things with the white to add some extra bits of texture in. Right. I'll do for a moment with that. still wet I want to come in with some of me crimson and what it does is it creates more texture because it starts to push some of the still damp color around and away so you get this sort of bleeding into each other effect which which is nice but the watercolor is actually working for you then Stand. Sorry about that. I'm dabbing off paint off my brush if it's too strong. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to complete the one leaf and then go on to do the others. So you'll get the idea. Okay, we'll let that dry again, and I'm going to apply another layer, as you'll see. Okay, and now I'm going to, uh, our sort of second to last step for this leaf, really, I'm going to come in with some blue, ultramarine blue, like that, and it needs to be completely dry, because the leaf is slightly curled on one side, and also there's still quite a bit of texture there, but using the blue, gives you this wonderful, over the other colours, gives you this wonderful effect of the light shining through the colours, which don't won't come up that well on the video, to be honest. But it will be very noticeable to people looking at your painting. You probably see better on the this scan image I'm going to put onto the blog. can go quickly over the painting and it won't disturb the paint underneath and apply what they call a glaze very quickly and we're going to do some other bits in a minute I want to do more with the greens in there Okay, and now I'm using a slightly controversial method because I, I'm quite happy to use white on a painting and in this occasion I'm using white mixed with some of our very, well that's the postman this time, <laughs> mixed with some of our very light green colour because I want to bring in some more of the impression of more of those, the leaves green where it's still breaking through. You can go on for ages doing this, it's great fun. But not to don't want to overdo this part of it. OK. 
Okay, now I want a lighter. Almost white now. I want to bring out some of the light on the edge of the stem. This may not be visible in the video. Very well. out the edges of some of these bits and pieces or well, the veins of the leaves in fact I'm using the smaller brush which is the size 007 I'm only using two brushes for, for these paintings For the moment. Okay, I'm reasonably happy with that, but it needs strengthening in some areas. And what I'm going to do is go back in with the pencil, which you can do there, do anything you want, and strengthen some of the edges and put back in because they're no longer terribly visible, using quite a lot of pressure. Some of the texture that we'd applied earlier and illustrating the, the veins of the, of the leaf, just making them more visible. I'm also going to put in just bits, bits more of textures up here. Lovely, lovely. And if you're watching in the USA, you might not know what lovely jubbly is. It's from a television program. <laughs> Here in the UK, famous one. Well, perhaps you do know fools and horses. Right. Okay, I'm going to leave that for the moment. I'm going to get on, crack on to the other leaves using the same method, which I won't bother video in for the moment, and then we'll look at the finishing off. <laughs> 